Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I want to show you an app that I'm very proud of and showcase what's possible to build with Glide. It's an app that organizations use to apply for a, a government project, and it does a lot of things. It uh, allows researchers to grade multiple organizations and also uses uh, Glide's OpenAI integration to help you evaluate which of these organizations is more suited to be approved for this government program. Now, a lot of people don't know how powerful Glide is, and although it's a no-code tool, the type of apps that you can build are actually very compelling and can have many, many features, including AI integration, which I think is amazing. So I want to show you what Glide is capable of using this app as a reference. Now, all the data in this app is not real. Uh, the app that was deployed was real, but for privacy purposes, I've changed all the personal data and all the organization data with sample data, just to make sure any critical information is protected. All right, so what we have here is uh, three types of users. The organizations that are applying for the government program, then we have administrators that I'm going to administrate the entire app. And the third type of user are researchers that are going to assess the organizations based on five different assessments. Then we aggregate all the scores and figure out what are the top organizations that should be included in this program. So there is a lot of things happening behind the scenes here. And it's amazing that this was able to be built without coding. So let's just pretend now that I'm logged in as a, um, just as a somebody that is applying for this program, right? And th this is what they would see. Now, this is the Glide app editor. And uh, you can see we can preview this as a mobile app or as a desktop app. And they would come here and uh, in their case, all they have to do is just uh, click the express interest program. And then there's all the details about the program, they continue. And then they would enter all the details uh, of the organization. Uh, including their organization profile and description and also the mission statement, right? Now I can see this is duplicated for some reason. That's quite interesting. So that is very easy to change. This is thanks to Glide's ability to... Actually, you. <laughs> this is what I love about Glide. Uh, it will uh, flag if an entry in a form is duplicated. So I can just simply go and delete that. There you go. And once they submit it, they'll be added to the list of applicants. Then after several applications have been collected, a researcher would log in. Let me just uh, pretend I'm a researcher here, right? And a researcher is only going to be able to assess the organizations based on five different assessments. So they would select one of the organizations here. And you can see a lot of them have already been assessed. There's uh, uh, several organizations here. I think there's 33 organizations. And then uh, in this case, none of the assessments have been completed. So let's pretend I'm a researcher. I select this organization and I'm going to uh, confirm the data of this organization. And then now I would go and start assessing each of the organizations, right? So I will go and mission alignment, uh, start, and then I would just say, you know, give them, this, uh, this in this case, a multiple choice type of questionnaire. And then I just answer all the questions with some experience, blah, 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 blah. And I've completed the first assessment. And then I would go and do the same for the second assessment and the third assessment, right? And this is, um, of course, it works on mobile as well, which is great. And there you go, I've completed the second assessment. And I would do this until I complete all the assessments. Now. Researchers would do this for all the organizations that apply. And then the great thing is in the, the back end, we're aggregating all the scores and we're actually weighting the scores based on the importance of each answer, of each question, and of each question independently. So there is a lot of stuff happening in the background to make sure that we get a score that is meaningful. On top of that, one of the five assessments is called the diversity assessment. It's not scoring just you know, from one to five. It's actually taking into consideration how different are the answers of each organization with respect of each other. 
because we want to score high for the uniqueness of the answers. Now, this was tricky to implement, but if we go here to the back end, you can see that we're storing uh, the responses for four, of the, four out of the five assessments in this table, but for the diversity questionnaire, we're storing them in a different place because we're gonna grade them differently and we're trying to calculate the variance. In other words, we are comparing all the answers among all the organizations to find out how different each of the answers are with the respect of all the other answers. And of course, there's a lot of data that is being calculated here in real time. And if you go here to um, applications, which is uh, the applications of the organizations, look at the size of this table. There's over 80 different columns that are being computed in real time to be able to calculate the final scores. And this is where it gets great. All of this data is being collected. Now we gotta process it so we can have some meaningful results. So this is where if I log in as an administrator, I get to see more tabs and now I can see here reports. So now all the data has been aggregated for the five different assessments. And we can, in this case, we have the weighted scores for all of the different assessments for mission, capacity, coverage, diversity, performance. We add them all up and then we got a total score and then we can rank organizations by score. And then we could say like, maybe in this program, they're only accepting you know, the top three organizations that have applied to this program. It'll be very easy for us to see which organizations are the ones that are coming on top based on these five assessments. If we want to dig deeper into each organization application and how they perform in the assessments, we can go here to organizations and we can see here they're already ranked by score across the five different assessments. So if we click here on the first one, this should be our top choice for this program. Look at all the stuff that we have. We have all the company information, but then we have the overall score, right? And the ranking. We know that out of 33 organizations that have applied for this program, this organization is coming on top. But what if you want to know their ranking per different assessment? Well, we can see all the scores here on a nice little chart. Then we can see the mission score. So now there's going to be five different assessment scores and we can see how they're ranking for each of the scores. So although this organization is coming on top overall, it's coming 10th for the first assessment mission. And for capacity is 11th for coverage is 13th, for diversity second, right? And for past performance is eighth, right? And now we can see not only the overall scores for each of the assessments, we can see the scores for each of the questions inside each of the assessments. And also we can see the weight that was given to each of those questions. And then the final weighted score. So as you can see, there's a lot of data that is being crunched here in real time with Glide, okay? Now, this is where it gets super interesting because thanks to Glide's OpenAI integration, we can do something pretty amazing. We can send all this data for each organization to OpenAI and get a many report assessing this organization and asking AI how suitable would this organization be for this program. So if I click here, generate in a few seconds, we're gonna send all the scores and we're gonna send a specific prompt that I'm going to show you in a minute that is going to generate this AI result. And it says, which basically saying based on the assessment scores, this organization has performed well and is suitable for inclusion in the program. The scores for mission alignment, blah, 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 blah and are all good. The score for past performance is slightly below average, but it's satisfactory. Overall, this organization is good. It's a good fit for the program and should be included. All right, let's do this again for somebody who didn't score that well. Maybe like uh, this uh, company would score, uh, score 10th, and we're gonna generate also an open AI assessment uh, in a sentence, right? So it's gonna take a few seconds and boom. Here we have, based on the scores given, this organization appears to have a strong mission alignment and a moderate level of organization capacity. 
Lastly, the past performance score reflects a moderate level of performance. Overall, this organization appears to possess a mix of strengths and weaknesses that may suggest a potential for it to be included in the program. However, additional research and evaluation is necessary to provide blah, 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 blah. So, again, and what you get from OpenAI depends on what, how you prompt it. And here's where if you want to prompt differently, you can go to the administrator tab. And here you can see the OpenAI prompt. And you can see that we're sending all the assessment scores. We're telling them what the program is about. Then we say what the scores are, right? And then we say, please explain the performance of this organization based on those scores and its suitability to be included in the program. Thank you. You need to be polite with OpenAI because you don't know if they're going to take over the world and they're going to remember you were impolite. So you're going to be polite to OpenAI and you're going to get a very nice response. Of course, you can modify this and then you would get different results from OpenAI. So not only you're using human-powered assessments through the questionnaires, through the five questionnaires, then you can add another layer of artificial intelligence assessment help thanks to Glide's OpenAI integration. This is extremely powerful for any kind of program where you need to assess multiple applicants based on a lot of different criteria. And it could be very complex criteria and you can crunch all of this data on the background, even use artificial intelligence to help you make more informed decisions. I mean, <laughs> and the amazing thing is this was built only in a couple of weeks. Now try to get any agency in the world to build such a complex tool. And we're talking you know, tens of thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars to build this. This was built by one individual, moi, in just a couple of weeks, right? This is the power of no-code tools like Glide. So hopefully you are as inspired as I am uh, with the potential of the tools that you can build with Glide. And I think this was just a great case study to showcase Glide's capabilities. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.